Sats 100, BP 102 over 69, heart rate 110. A little hypotensive and tachycardic. Let's get a 16 in each arm and bolus a liter of LR on the rapid transfuser and 50 of fentanyl for pain. How's the leg looking? A likely intertoe in the upper right thigh. Big hematoma, no apparent fracture. All right, no pop quiz. Let's see how much you recall. After we figure out where the bullet went in, what do we do? Count the holes. If there's an even number, it came out. OK. Jason, I need you to grab the rail and roll in your side for him. Want to tell me what happened? I shot him, actually. Uh, by accident. I thought the safety was on. I'm so sorry, man. We cool? Yeah, don't sweat it. What kind of gun was it? A uh, 9 mil. You care why? You don't know my neighborhood. They got guns, I got a gun. Making the world a safer place? I think I might see an exit hole. It, it's tiny, but... Uh, Not too tiny. Probably shrapnel. Bullet's still in there somewhere. We gotta find it. Systems are still down. Then we'll use the tools we have. You should see this, Jason. It's cool. The bullet's like in your heart. Cool for you. He shot me in the leg. What the hell is it doing up here? Bullets travel in unexpected ways. We need to get that out, right? One step at a time. I can't tell yet whether it's actually in the heart or just behind it. What about those x-rays we took earlier? They're not that precise. Find something that is. What about that MIR machine? MRI, and it's not um, usable right now. What do you mean? Look, if we can figure out the path the bullet took to get to your chest, we should be able to determine exactly where it is. There are only two options, right? Right. Well, either carom through your midsection or hiss right up through your venous system. Good. Grab a DPL. DPL? A diagnostic peritoneal lavage. We're going to insert a needle in your abdomen, fill it with fluid, then drain it to see if there's any internal bleeding. Don't worry. We'll drape off this area before we insert the Foley. What do you mean, insert the Foley? Oh, this goes up your urethra? First you shoot me, then you bring me to a place from the Dark Ages. You really suck, Marius. My fault. Old rule of thumb. If you could read through the bag, the test is negative. So there's no bleeding in the abdomen? No. Well, that's good news, right? So you want me to crack this guy's chest open and put him on bypass on a hunch? Not a hunch. A diagnosis of exclusion. And what if you're wrong? He's not wrong. I mean, DPL ruled out the bullet traveling through the peritoneum. And if it went through the retro peritoneum, then he would have reported back pain. So it had to have embolized. <laughs> Dr. Joy, he knows his stuff. That's how he does it on the battlefield. So we can't just transfer this guy to another trauma center with a working CT? Too risky. He could decompensate at any moment, and every second we wait just ups the risk of a massive pulmonary embolism. All right, I'll call the OR. Preliminary visual inspection shows no pericardial effusion. Thank you, Dr. Bardovi. I was just informed that we're back online, in case that's pertinent. Well, we're not going to close him back up and send him to radiology just to wind up where we are now. So let's ultrasound the heart directly and see if we can't find the bullet. There, in the right ventricle. Yeah, that could be our culprit. Scalpel? Forceps? Hey, hey, nice work. I guess that Navy training wasn't a waste after all. Well, that's how we do it on the battlefield. Well, if it hadn't worked, I would have blamed you anyway. I know. I know. Hey, Max, I need to leave early. I got to let the plumber into my apartment. Why can't your girlfriend Vicky do that for you? She got deployed, Germany. Oh, that must be harder than two of you. Well, it's not the two of us anymore. Oh. Hey, hey. here we dodged a bullet with that GSW earlier, ah. so to speak. So to speak. No, I think she's some sort of miracle worker. No, nah, just a guy who's seen way too many shootings. <laughs>